Welcome to the big lap. I'm only at the start of my lap and I've already decided to take a rest day on my second day of the big lap, but there's a good reason for it. I am in Naruma. I'm staying with friends and I was only supposed to stay in overnight, but this place is so spectacular that they twisted my arm to stay two nights with them so I could spend the whole of this day exploring the area. So Naruma is on the south coast of New South Wales and it is spectacular. I cannot wait to show you the day that I'm going to have today in Naruma. I've driven down to Marana Point where there's a car park overlooking the ocean. I'm going to turn around for you there. There's my van. Uh, so it's a small little car park and I've got some pretty exciting things to show you around this area. So this is my first stop here in Naruma and yep, I found the beach again. So you can take the girl out of Sydney but you can't take her away from the beaches. So I'm here at Camel Rock Beach and as you probably have guessed it, it's the location for the famous rock formation, Camel Rock. I'm going to turn around here so you can see it behind me. There it is. So there's Camel Rock there. And by Camel Rock is called Woman's Head Rock. So it was named by the traditional owners of the land, the Yuan people, I think I'm saying that correctly. And they think that the woman watches over the seas to protect people from the rough waters. It's pretty dangerous waters here um, over at Camel Rock Beach and this woman here is the protector of the sea. So I come here with my OM5 so I've got it strapped to me here and I'm going to shoot my first photos here at Camel Rock. Very excited to shoot this iconic rock formation and just over the way it's a short little hike to another pretty famous rock formation. I'm sure you've seen it in pictures. I've only ever seen it in pictures, so I'm excited to see it in real life. It's a short little hike to my next rock formation and I'm so glad I did this. It's so pretty here and it's so nice to just take a step back, be around nature, having to go forward. I just have to keep walking until I get to this place. It's really slowing me down, which is exactly what I need. That was such a stunning little hike over to this second rock formation and if you know the area you probably know where I'm headed to or where I am right now. So I'm going to show you behind me, let's put it in the picture. So there it is, oh there it is. So this is Horsehead Rock. So it's pretty iconic in um, Australian landscape photography. This rock formation has been shot so many times and as I said before, it's the first time I've seen it with my own eyes. So it's pretty cool to see it up close. I was just at the top of the headlands there and it is so stunning. I walked past this couple who had chosen the most fantastic seat to overlook the area. I always think if I'm ever sitting in a location like that, I would love someone to come and take my photo. So this was the first time I actually went up to them. I was prepared to take a photo on their mobile phone. Then I looked down and saw he had a pretty impressive Canon camera by his side. So yeah, took a shot. I hope he liked it um, and I hope that couple doesn't mind that I took a couple of shots for myself. Well, 
this is a bit different. I am using my GoPro to its limits and I am riding around Naruma on an e-bike. I've never been on an e-bike before, but the locals say it's the thing to do. I'm with my friend and we're riding around. It's pretty bumpy. We're riding around the river here um, and we're gonna go and search for some seal. just come across another iconic rock in Naruma. We're at Wagonga Inlet here, so we just spotted some seals. The water is aqua blue. And behind me here, let's get to it. There it is, the famous Australia rock. Naruma is such a beautiful place. I am so glad I stayed here an extra night to appreciate that full day that I had. It was stunning. Thank you so much to my friends for recommending me hang out a little longer in this beautiful little town. Now, my friends also set me a challenge for this big lap journey. They want me by the end of it to catch my own fish, fillet it and eat it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna go with that, but they're big fans of Ridey's Root Channel and that's what they think that I could do. So um, anyway, you're, you guys are holding me accountable. So let's see if I do that at the end of the challenge. I've actually got my own challenge by the end of this. I love that footage of drones uh, that film the van while driving on the road. I think it's pretty tricky to do. I'm a solo driver and I have to do everything myself, but I know that it can be done. Um, setting the drone up and driving and getting the footage. So that's a challenge that I'm setting for myself. I want to know what you think that I should do on this big lap. What's a challenge that you would like to set for me to achieve during my big lap of Australia? All right, so I've made it to a pretty spectacular point in Naruma and I think I've left the best till last. I'm gonna show you where I am. I've parked my van on the coast here and it is a pretty stunning spot. You can see it behind me and look where I am. It's fantastic. 